Described as a perky sparrow with a purity of line, Lazakovich was spotted by her compatriot, Olympic champion before her, Larissa Petrik, in 1961, and brought to prominent coaches in the Belarusian system. She showed promise early on, winning many gold and silver medals at the 1968 and 1969 USSR Junior Championships. Lazakovich debuted as a senior at the 1970 World Artistic Gymnastics Championships as a part of that year's world champion Soviet team. A low score of 8.00 on the balance beam during the compulsory segment of the team competition dropped her down to 21st place in the all-around, the lowest ranked of the Soviet team. In the 1971 Europeans, Lazakovich tied her teammate, European, World, and Olympic all-around champion Ludmila Turiskova for the European all-around title. She also took two of the four individual event titles, uneven bars, balance beam, and one silver on the other two, vault, floor exercise. In addition to being CO champions in the all-around, she or Turiskova occupied the gold and silver positions on the podium on all five individual events, keeping German Erika Zuckold in third place on four out of five of them. The next year, at the 1972 Olympics where Turiskova dominated the all-around and Soviet teammate Olga Korbut stole the crowd's and media's attention with her daring moves and charismatic personality, Lazakovich quietly worked her way onto the individual podium three times, winning the bronze medal in the individual all-around and floor exercise, plus winning silver on the balance beam. During the balance beam medal ceremony Lazakovich cried when she was awarded the silver medal behind the gold medalist Olga Korbut. Tamira thought that she won the balance beam final as she was carrying forward the highest mark. However, Korbut performed her beam routine without mishap, scoring 9.90 for the gold, Lazakovich winning silver. Her four event total of 38.25 was the highest of any gymnast in the team compulsory segment of the competition.